What is up everyone, Garrett Lewis here and welcome to Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase of the PS1. Now just before we begin, I just want to let you know this is my first official gameplay walkthrough since my return to my initial channel and I am very great to be back doing official gameplays again. And um, I also want to let you know that Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase, as you may know, is actually like my childhood favourite game. Um, I remember playing that when I was like, um, oh god, what can I say, like five years old when I played it for the first time on the PS2 because apparently I heard that PS2 games are actually, you know, PS1 games are actually compatible with the PS2 and for, and today I'm doing it on the PS1 which was released back in 2001 and as you know the PlayStation 1 was released in um, in Sweden like 25 years ago so um, um, yeah so anyway without any further ado let's get on with the game Wow Scooby like isn't this groovy we're the stars of our very own video game yeah, a groovy. Like what's going on? Uh, something bad, I assume. <laughs> oh god, what is that? I've spread my evil virus all over this game. You'll never get past the monsters I've unleashed. Rikes? Monsters? I'm with you, Scoob. Like, let's get out of here. <sighs> You can run, but you'll never escape. This is my game now. I say we make like a tree and leave. Hey guys, are you alright? You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> That's no ghost. <laughs> that thing wasn't a ghost! Uh -uh. Hmm, that's strange. My handheld wireless communication system is going berserk. It's like it's been zapped by some sort of virus. I don't like the sound of that. Well, virus. But what kind of virus? Like that's it. And that scary thing told Scoob and me that it was spreading a virus all over our game. Hmm, let me see that, Velma. Seems like it's working again. There's a message in your inbox, Velma. I challenge you to play this game. You'll lose it every time. The phantom virus always wins. Phantom virus? I'm glad it's not coronavirus. Jinkies! <laughs> Jinkies is right, Sounds Velma. Like a job for Mystery Inc. But how are we going to capture the phantom virus, Fred? By splitting up. Daphne, you and I will go look for a trap. Velma, you stay here and try to determine the exact location of this phantom virus. Scooby, Shaggy, you guys go into the game itself. If you find the virus... Get it to <laughs> their reactions. So Chicken their heads like they're just saying no. Hey, where are you guys going? <laughs> Oh, what? Come on, guys. We can't do this without your help. <laughs> like, sure you can. Would you do it for a Scooby snack? No way! <laughs> no way! <laughs> Would you do it for two Scooby snacks? Uh-uh! Uh-uh! <laughs> Would you do it for a whole box of Scooby Snacks? Velma, old pal, you got yourself a deal. Yeah, yum, yum. Here, take this with you. We can use it to talk to one another. Ah, oh, communicator. Okay. It looks like some of the levels are locked. The only door that's open leads to Japan. You guys can start there. I'll try to get the other doors to open. Oh, this must be a one-player game. How retro. That's because it is a one-player game, you guys Daphne. Just have to take turns. Come on, Daphne. Let's go find that trap. Good luck, everyone. Saving your game is always a good idea when there's a phantom virus around. Come and see me whenever you want to save your game or take a break. All right, so we're beginning um, here with um, some kind of gameplay area. 
and it seems that um, we're controlling um, Shaggy and Scooby-Doo here. So, um, we've got seven worlds here, but since this is the first part of the game, we're on the first one, leading to Classic Japan, which is the first area of the game. So, what we're going to do is we're gonna, just going to jump ahead into the game. And Scooby-Doo is the first player to step up on the board. Scooby, can you hear me? It looks like you've landed in Japan. It's one of the most beautiful places in the world. But in the hands of the Phantom Virus, it's sure to be one of the most dangerous as well. <laughs> yeah, you're telling me. Get moving, Scooby. Daphne and I will keep looking for a trap. But it's up to you to find that virus. You can do it, Scooby. That's right, Scoob, old pal. You can do it. Well, let's go. And this is the part where all the amazing action begins. Hey, Scooby. Those Scooby snacks sure look good. Save some for me. Run me. <laughs> I always knew that Scooby-Doo and Shaggy loved Scooby snacks. For some reason. Picking up more than one Scooby Snack in a row will give you extra bonus points. 100 Scooby Snacks will give you an extra chance, so try to collect them all. Hmm. Scooby, when you come to large gaps in the path, be sure to use the X button to jump over them. Otherwise, you could fall in. What row? What I just love those um, iconic Scooby Doo catchphrases they have been doing for the show for the past 50 years or so. I know you're hungry, Scooby, but these pies aren't for eating. You'll want to throw them at enemies when they get in your way. Be sure to collect as many as possible. Mmm, 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 pie! <laughs> and Scooby still wants to eat the eat those pies. Little does he know they're only for throwing. Use your jump and bounce move to open up those boxes, Scooby. You'll find items inside to help you on your way. Press the X button to jump, then the circle button to bounce while you're still in the air. All right. Oh, we got a pie. Oh, hold on. Those guards at the gate probably won't let you get by, Scooby. Try throwing a pie at them. Hold down the square button to aim the pie, then release the button to throw it. It's a piece of cake. Or, um, <clears throat> pie. <laughs> oh, I get that reference a lot. A piece of cake or, um, <clears throat> pie. Good one, Velma. <laughs> <laughs> Even Scooby gets it. It always takes about precision and timing when it comes to- Oh, I could have done two in a row there, but that didn't ha ha turn out, unfortunately. Let's go aim at this guy, this guy right there, and he's gone. Yummy, yummy, yum. You lucked out, Scoob. Those hamburgers look delicious. Eat them all up, pal. They'll give you energy. No problem. Burgers. Nice. Hold up, hold up. There we go. Watch out for those ninjas, Scooby. They look mean. Don't they just? No problem. I think I might want to go ahead and throw a pie right there. Boom! Bullseye! Do that again in a moment, but pick that burger up. And he's gone. So, um, I was gonna say, guys, what I, what I remember about this game, it was a lot of fun when I played it in my childhood days, but I do love the gameplay on the PS1, because, oh, hold on. All right, Scooby, you're doing great. Your dog tag symbol is a check mark. You'll want to grab them when you see them. That way, if you ever lose all of your energy, you won't have to start all over again. Yeah. Okay, Rafty, rakes a rot. <laughs> I must say, um, back to this, the gameplay on this was so astonishing when I played it back in, um, back when I was incredibly young. And I have to say, the music, the soundtrack to the game itself is so astonishing. Oh, ninja. Take care of him. Boom! He's gone. 
And from what I remember, um, throwing those pies and um, dealing with a load of bad guys was a lot of fun. Even though initially I heard that Scooby-Doo and Shaggy were a bit like, oh, cowards when they encountered enemies in the TV show. Let me know in the comments below if you remember this game, and if you do, what were your, um, practically brilliant, brilliantest, brilliantest moments of the brilliant? Because I know that a lot of this game was, like, the pride of my childhood when I was, like, five or five or six years old when I first, had first played video games. Because Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase, like I say on the PS1, was actually my, one of my first ever video games I played in my life. I might talk about more of, um, of those childhood games in the near future with different ones, not just this one. Oh, hold on, hold on. Two in a row! Brilliant. We got a phone call. Keep on your toes, Scooby. You don't know karate, but those guys sure do. Maybe if I could just get rid of them for pi- Oh, yeah, no, time we missed that. I could have done two in a row, but I can only do one at a time. I'm just wasting pies by missing them. But we got them in the end, thank god. We better time this one. I was like a boss on this game myself when it comes to the first stage of the game. But as the stages got harder, well, the difficulty got harder too. There we go. They're gone. Checkpoint. Whoa, missed. Missed again. Ah, he got away! There we go, he's gone now. Thank the Lord for that. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, missed the shuriken, thank. Good, good, we did it. Again, two in a row. Pick that up, Scoob. It's an extra chance. You'll want to get as many of those as you can find. We need a lot of extra chances because whenever we lose, we lose a life, and that's the only key. Failure is not an option. Well. All right. <laughs> I want to pick up them Scooby snacks so I can keep up my my progress. Oh, missed. Oh, he got away, so I'll need to um, turn back and then get him again. There we go. And we've only got one pie left. So I think I'm going to need to go ahead and try and find some more. Unless we find a way to without sustaining damage. Well, we can always... We can always bounce on them like that. Jumps like these can be a little harder, Scoob. They may require some extra effort. Press the X button twice to do a double jump. That'll give you the extra distance you need to get across. Yeah, we can't afford to fall in. That's a that's a good statement from Fred Jones himself. Okay. Right. One, two. Yes, we made it. One, two, three. Yes. All right. Double jump. One, two. We just made it. Watch out for those sumo wrestlers, Scoob. They'll flatten you like a pancake. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing about the um, Scooby Gang in, in these shows, they are like the legends of um of comedy at times. Oh, hold on, we got another phone call. Hey, Scoob, grab that box of Scooby Snacks. It looks like it might be your only way out of there. Scooby Dooby Doo! So, clearly, when you pick up the Scooby Snacks, this happens. <laughs> I just love that. Have you guys. Did you guys see that? Scooby does this, like, this little dance whenever he, um, completes a level. And that's video games for you. Alright! 
So we got the first level of um Plastic Japan out of the way, so we're gonna get we're gonna get the second level done right now. Go for it, Scoob. You can do this. Not home yet, Scooby. It looks as if those boxes of Scooby snacks advance you to the next level. You're still in Japan, so let's get going. Right, so um we're continuing our progress in Japan with this next level. Okay, we can't get through there. That's an invisible wall, apparently. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yep, there we go. Man, oh, samurai. Oh! Zoinks! <laughs> Zoinks! It's getting more and more dangerous in there. More dangerous? Rock <laughs> roll! Guys, do you actually think I've conquered impersonating Scooby Doo's voice? Because I feel like I sound just like him. I'll do that again. Rock roll! Even though um, I'm recording at night, I'm trying not to wake everybody up. Because I know better than to do that. Even though I'm only having a bit of fun when it comes to doing a gameplay walkthrough video on YouTube. And the first and the first time on this channel since um, February 2019, which is when I ditched this channel for real until now. Following the um, discontinuation of Gedank's channel as of um, as of Monday, and I'm the reason being because I thought I'd go back to this channel because I missed doing it so much. That Phantom Vibra sure doesn't play fair, does he, Scooby? No. Those spears will hurt you, so you need to be extra careful. It's all about timing here. Use the circle button to crawl under the spears. That way you can avoid them. Spears? Boom. <laughs> Boom. I love how Scooby gulps in, um... in, um, any kind of way, because I knew that Scooby was always a scaredy cat. Or should I say scaredy dog, because obviously Scooby-Doo's a dog, not a cat. Making some smooth progress here. Oh god, more ninja. You're going down. And that samurai too. Okay. Also, last time I remember playing this game was in a Wales Comic Con in 2018. Close to Christmas 2018, actually. That was when they... They had, like, this gaming zone there in the Glindu University in Wrexham. Get out of here, ninja. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. Don't want to get hit by the spears, so... There we go. We'll crawl under them, pick up them Scooby Snacks as we um, proceed with caution. Uh-oh. There we go. Okay. Uh-oh. We got two ninjas trying to um, prevent us from progressing further. Oh. Every time I keep, I, I try to throw pies, I just miss and miss and miss. But we got them now, and we've only got five pies left. Get out of here. This is how we do it, yeah. Oh, what? A red ninja? Oh, God, he, he, runs, he, he, he runs right up to you, so it's best we deal with him quickly. Oh no, more spears. Very well then, we'll um, wait until they come down and then we'll deal with some of those boxes and we're already on the last one and the last one is apparently a pie. Another checkpoint up ahead. Get rid of that ninja. And another ninja. How many of those ninjas are actually going to turn up anyway? Oh god. He's gone. Another bottomless pit. Duh, they can't even dominate me anyway. Oh god, another ninja. Anyway, he's gone. 
thanks to Scooby's pie throwing abilities. And we gained yet another extra life. Away with you, ninja! Oh, Scooby Chance. 13 lives we got, wow. And especially on the first part of this game. I must be showing, uh, must be carrying out my childhood skills. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm detecting even more danger now, Scooby. The phantom virus must be around here somewhere. Just be careful. Rikes! <laughs> Rikes! Sometimes Scooby just makes those, those weird dog noises, like... Rikes! But I I love the way I love his personality all in all. Besides, Scooby Doo is actually like my childhood favorite of all time, legendary. Even though we know he was he first aired in 1969, and I wasn't even born back then. And I'm out of pies. So the only way is to bounce on him. I'll eradicate that sumo wrestler as soon as I get a pie. There we go. He's gone. Get out of here. Very nice. Exterminating every villain there is, but we can't do it with pies now because we're out. You missed. That time you didn't. There we go, he's gone. I haven't got much, li much life left, so if there's a burger, that'd be great. Whoa, I also discovered, uh, we won't get to see it now, but those um, ninja, the red ninja, apparently breathe fire. Oh god. I put you out your misery, ninja. Good thing there was another pie, le another pie left. There we go. Like way to go, Scoob. I couldn't have done it better myself. Scooby Dooby Doo. I was worried I might actually die. Fortunately, I didn't. Roboy. Roboy! <laughs> Nicely done, Scooby. It doesn't matter if we don't get 100% on this game, but all in all, it's about having fun when it comes to playing video games, even on YouTube. Anyway, we're on to the um, next stage of Classic Japan, and now um, we are on level 3, which is basically the boss, where I fight off against the Phantom Virus. Looks like you've detected one of the Phantom Virus's main bosses. Defeating him should get you out of Japan and back to safety, Scooby. Hmm. You can try to get past this boss, but you will not succeed. <laughs> That's what you think, virus. <laughs> really? You had to laugh that loud? Okay, Scooby. You'll need to pay attention to the warrior's patterns. It's the only way to defeat him. Avoid his attacks until you're given a chance. Then throw a pie at him. Three times should do it. Are you ready, Scooby? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. Oh, God, that's Scooby. Anyway, we're fighting off against the first boss of um the game. It better evade his attack, and it's our chance to retaliate. So we've got three hit, a maximum of three hits until he's a goner. Yeah, yeah boss. So we're just gonna wait for flames to die down, and then evade, yeah. and then throw a pie. Huh? Yeah. Oh, right, um... He hasn't... We haven't got a chance yet. Now we have... Bullseye! One more hit, and then he's history. Watch out the blade attacks, though, because they are... Truly dangerous. I knew that um, dodging samurai blades has never been easy. Adios, ninja! He's gone. Woo! Scooby Dooby Doo! Yes! You did it, Scooby! 
good job. Just grab that box of Scooby Snacks and you're out of there. Yeah! And that finished the job. And there we go. That's Classic Japan completed. Before I end off this video, I probably might want to save the game. There we go. And ne when we next come back, we'll be on the next stage, Ancient Rome. So, um, let me uh, before I um, end off, I want to say it's really great to be back on um, the, my initial YouTube channel again for gameplay walkthroughs, and um, I will probably do that on a more permanent basis because I've really enjoyed that. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe for some more amazing content for this channel. And um, yeah, let me know in the comments below, what are your thoughts on Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Trace of the PS1? Do you actually remember it? Because I really do. It was like so like my childhood days and we're already in 2020 and that's still a legend to me. So anyway, that's all that we've got time for now. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. God bless and happy gaming. Peace out.